What's up guys, AD back with another Nikkei Goddess of Victory video and here we are in the Tribe Tower. Now before we get started, make sure to leave a like on this video as well as make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more Nikkei Goddess of Victory content as well as make sure to check out channel memberships down below if you're interested in supporting the channel further as well as receiving some channel perks and some cute emotes for the comments. Now with all of that being said, let's dive into the Tribe Tower here and I'll be telling you everything that I've learned so far about the tower so let's get started as for the basics here the tribe tower will have certain stages that are open on certain days as we can see here towards the bottom the elysian tower is only open on sundays mondays and thursdays while the missiles tower is only open on sundays tuesdays and fridays and so on for the tetra and pilgrim towers now to unlock the towers here at the bottom you'll have to clear campaign stage 7-13 but as for the tribe tower above these it's actually always available since since of course the tribe tower is part of your daily routine here on Nikkei. Moving on here into the tribe tower, you'll be able to consecutively challenge these stages while others seem to only have one attempt available daily. Now once you head into the tribe tower here or any other tower, you'll be presented with this wheel of stages. As you can see, we're currently only on stage 3 here and just like any other area of Nikkei, you'll have the suggested weak point units you'll want to bring along as well as the effective range here towards the right hand side and to the the far right is showcasing your power as well as the recommended power for each stage and above will present you with the enemies that you'll come across in this specific battle. As for the rewards here of each stage, they're pretty amazing actually. Stage 3 here rewards you with 200 gems as well as 225,000 credits and 20 core dust. Once you clear a stage, you'll be able to proceed on to the next while facing more challenging enemies ahead. Towards the bottom of the screen here, we have the leaderboard rewards if you'd like to see those as well and you can compare and contrast with other players across the server as well on these leaderboards. So let's test out stage 3 here and see what we could expect for the difficulty. As you can see we do have the recommended power of 5700 and we're currently at 7400 power. So let's see what we can manage to come across in this battle and hopefully we do clear it very easily. As you can see, stage 3 wasn't too difficult and we did manage to obtain the rewards. Now, last but not least, for the bit of info we do have, the maximum level you can challenge here on the tribe tower is level 70. And as for the others, I would expect about the same levels or maybe even more stages. And before we end this one off, I wanted to show you guys what you could expect for stage 70 here. And here we are, as you can see, the recommended power of 115,000 here. So you could expect the tribe tower to stretch until the end game hopefully as you can see based on my current power at only 7400 so that'll pretty much do it for the tribe tower overview here on nikkei goddess of victory make sure to let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are of this battle tower area also make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more nikkei content and make sure to check out channel memberships as well as the links to my twitter twitch and discord server in the description box below but with all of that being said, I'll catch you all in the next Nikkei video. As always, thank you all so much for watching.